How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the very first video news of this podcast. I'm your host, the self-proclaimed greatest host, Kyle Masters, and uh, I got a couple of bit of news today. That's why I'm kind of doing this, and I'm also testing out um, the video format of this. I tried to get it for the the draft, uh, the draft mock life, the mic, the, the mock life draft video for you guys uh, on yesterday. And I just couldn't get it up. I don't know what was going on. So I'm deciding to do this offline, just kind of give it a test run. I'm kind of going to be going to this format too for the Sunday Night Heat, the, the weekly news show. So stay tuned for that. I know my webcam's not the greatest right now. It's basically my laptop webcam. I'm trying to invest into a better webcam. But for now, this will do. So uh, I got a lot of news out of today. Um, one of them was Ric Flair. Some really, really sad news with Ric Flair. Apparently, he was okay in the hospital. There was news coming out from his manager. Um, that he was okay it was yesterday the day before but now all of a sudden he's in critical condition and he's there's the whole wrestling world on twitter is going nuts and asking for his prayer so if you guys would like to send your prayers or to rick flair tweet about it use your hashtag rick flair uh he needs all the prayers that we uh we can give him right now and hopefully he has a speedy recovery and like all the gifts i've been seeing on twitter him walking out uh strutting and styling and profiling out of the hospital so it's what we can only hope. I got some also got some other news here about Adam Cole and just some other brief kind of news I want to go over with you. But first, uh, I want to go over the Ric Flair situation. Um, a report from Mike Johnson of PW Insider suggested uh, based on Ric Flair's book to be a man, he suffers from alcoholic cardio uh, myopathy, which we all uh, remember from that. Also, uh, TMZ is also reporting that uh, Ric Flair is having surgery today. Uh, Michael Hayes says that he saw Ric Flair yesterday and that he needs a lot of prayers and positive vibes. He tweeted out saying that he saw Ric Flair before I flew to Boston yesterday. I can assure you that he needs everyone's prayers and positive vibes. Thanks in advance. Um, so this was the, again, these were after the original report uh, 24 hours before that uh, his manager said everything was okay. And it was a routine uh, monitoring uh, and for fans not to panic. But now all of a sudden uh, we kind of have to panic because now it has to deal with his heart. So crazy what can happen in 24 hours. But uh, thoughts and prayers uh, from the podcast, myself and Corporate Cappy are going to you, Ric Flair, and for a speedy recovery and hope everything is okay. Um some other news, some huge, huge, huge signing news out of today, and we've been waiting for this for a long time, so guys, this contains spoilers, so if the, you don't want any spoilers, then I suggest you kind of skip forward a little bit here, um, but according to the report from Mike Johnson of the PW Insider as well, Adam Cole has signed with the WWE for their NXT brand, so we'll be going right to NXT. Uh, according to the report, Cole is scheduled to begin at the Performance Center in Orlando this week. Cole is a big signing, and we have to assume that we could see him appear in uh, some cap, uh, capacity in NXT uh, TakeOver Brooklyn 3 in some way. There we might have him sit in the crowd for the event to introduce him like we've seen him do with others in the past. Um, if you don't know who Adam Cole is, he is a three-time Ring of Honor World Champion, and uh, his signing is uh, will make definitely make a, a lot of WWE fans happy as he is a one talented individual. And at the end of this article, it says, baby, I love that. Um, so, yeah, huge, huge signing right there by WWE, finally getting Adam Cole signed to NXT. And, and you just think about the NXT roster right now. you got Adam Cole. you got Bobby Fish, uh, Roderick Strong, uh, Kyle O'Reilly. You're getting all these big Ring of Honor guys. And with the rumors that they said they were going to do a uh, Ring of Honor stable, it kind of looks like it's going to come to fruition here. So hopefully they do something with that. And I actually had uh, our boy Chuck Wilson tweet at us saying, <laughs> He wanted to see like a fatal four-way between the, the ROH guys for the, the title. I think it included Bob Root. I'm not sure. But uh, um, that'd be cool. It's going to be sick. Uh, NXT roster is getting bigger and bigger, it looks like, now with uh, the official signing of uh, Adam Cole. And now it's Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish, all the guys that we've been wanting to get signed to NXT over the past couple of months. They're all finally signed now. So I think we're going to see Adam Cole at NXT TakeOver. It's going to be one of those crowd things, you know, like they did with Bobby Roode and they did with Drew McIntyre. They'll be in the crowd. They'll be looking all like, oh, yeah, this is NXT, eh? Yeah, one of those things. <laughs> so uh, we'll have to stay tuned for that. And I'm actually really pumped to see what they do with NXT going forward after TakeOver Brooklyn 3. And maybe if someone gets called up, a.k.a. Asuka, maybe Bobby Roode, who knows? But I think Bobby Roode is more likely to stay until next Next year's WrestleMania uh, in NXT, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I got some other news here. Uh, Derby announced the main event for SmackDown Live this week. Oh my God! And it was via Kathy Kelly on uh, 
or Kat, yeah, sorry, Kathy, Kathy Kelly on uh, WWE's Twitter account. John Cena is going to go one on one with Jinder Mahal. Oh my God, man! Are you kidding me? What does that got to do with anything? <laughs> Jinder Mahal versus John Cena. Okay, so guys, because we can't have it at SummerSlam, we got to have it on SmackDown, leading up to SummerSlam, the Go Home Show. So. Nakamura won't be interfering in this match. Baron Corbin most likely to intensify their feud with John Cena because right now the build for that sucks ass. There's absolutely no build with that whatsoever. I'm not hyped for a John Cena and Baron Corbin match. The match is basically useless at SummerSlam because if Baron Corbin catches in, that match really doesn't give a, really doesn't matter. Might not even have the match. Anyways, that is the announced SmackDown match for this week. And uh, last bit of news. Uh, and it has to do with Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal is apparently going to accompany a fighter to the ring at UFC 215. Uh, it says right here, Jinder Mahal will have his hands full at SummerSlam against uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. And a few weeks after the big title match, it turns out he'll be playing a part in UFC 215 on September 9th. UFC fighter, if I'm saying this right, Arjun Bular announced on Instagram that Jinder will be in his corner for his fight. UFC 215 takes place from uh, Jinder's even hometown of Alberta. Oh, my God. So this guy, if the UFC fans are smart, is going to get a huge, huge pop. And there's a picture up here on Instagram of uh, this UFC fighter. And he's taking a picture with Jinder. And, oh, my God, if you, you guys have to go see this picture. I wish I can crop it up on the screen for you guys right now. But, oh, my God, man, Jinder Mahal is... <laughs> shredded as hell compared to this UFC fighter and he's like they're both holding the title together so whatever it is what it is um it's in it's in Jinder's hometown whatever you know if he wants to go walk out with the UFC fighter let him go walk out with the UFC fighter I really don't give a fuck whether he's champion or not we'll see what happens but uh that's the last bit of news guys and thanks for tuning in here and thanks for watching in this very first uh basically like a demo video of this uh podcast this will be and uh, i made the little layout here uh just for now but it, it's going to be changed to the sunday night heat and i'll be doing the sunday night heat in this format from now on and i think i'm going to be doing it youtube exclusive first and then it'll eventually it'll move on to itunes uh spreaker and stitcher after i'm done it and i upload it and you know put it into uh mp3 format you know it takes a little bit of time but not that much time so other than that guys i'm the self-proclaimed greatest host kyle masters see you next time